what is up it's kayla and i am back again with another video if you are new to my channel make sure you press that subscribe button and join my cute little family so today basically is gonna be all of things that i'm buying when i move yeah basically my theme for my house is black white and gray like i said i want it to be very modern very artsy like very art gallery feel if that makes sense um Never mind. Y'all about to see everything. I ain't even gonna spoil nothing. Y'all about to see everything. And um, from the video, you're not really gonna get the kind of decor I'm going for. Um, maybe like a little bit. But honestly, a lot of the stuff that I want to buy, I'm probably not gonna buy for like a little minute because I still need to buy like essentials. So yeah but that's kind of the theme i'm going for if that makes any sense um it's mainly black and white i am throwing in a little gray here and there just because my coffee table and side tables and kitchen countertop and bathroom countertop are are, mm, are all marble so that's the only reason the gray kind of comes into play because those are obviously white and gray but it's mainly black everywhere or white everywhere um there's gonna be just splashes of gray um except for the bathroom the bathroom's gonna be pretty much gray hello okay she's naked so we're gonna cover you up um but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a long one so grab a snack um grab something to drink strap on your seatbelt, and let's jump right on into it so hey y'all I'm back in my mom's house. Uh, I mean, I'm back at home now. Basically, I have everything that I bought. Hey, Paris is in the living room with me. Yeah, if y'all hear her, just whatever. Um, so basically, I have everything in here. That's why I keep looking over there. I have everything in here that's like gonna get me started. Um, I couldn't tell y'all how much money I spent. Pee. Everything except a few items I bought today. I'm going to show y'all what I bought a while ago, which was mainly for P. And then I'm going to show y'all everything I bought today. So, yeah. And I'll try to, like, explain my vision so y'all can kind of see. Because, obviously, this video is going to be part one of many, many parts. But, yeah. So... Basically, I have bought P this little set, which it looks like this, and it comes with a blanket, and the blanket's like white with like blue and pink splattered on it, kind of, but it's mainly white. I wish I could show y'all it. Maybe if I could find a picture, I'll insert it here, but if there's no picture, then I don't know. But yeah, this is going to be like the theme slash colors of her room, um, which is just going to be pink, blue, and purple, and unicorns. So, yeah, she's going to have unicorn everything, pretty much. And with that, I bought this, which matches it. Oh, this looks like this. P is one of those kids where she could have a whole bed, a whole sitting area, whatever the case may be. And she's still going to flatten her blanket out on the floor and put a pillow behind her and sit on the floor or lay on the floor. So, I thought if I put this in her room, which... Also, this is going to be kind of like a, well, it's not a spoiler, but P's, um, grandma, thank you, um, P's grandma, well, Justin's mom bought her, like, a tent, and I'm thinking I'm going to put this, like, inside the tent, or I don't know how big the tent is, because I haven't seen it, like, in person, or built, neither of us have, because it's still in the box, but, yeah, I'm hoping I could, like, make the inside of her tent like real cute so she can play in that but also her bed has like watermelon. under huh watermelon. watermelon you're right good job high five, high five. good job baby watermelon. that's a watermelon <laughs> good job but um you're welcome her bed also i don't know how her bed's gonna be when it's built but from the pictures her bed has like a slide and like a little thing you climb up to get into the bed it's really high up which does make me a little nervous because p is a crazy sleeper i don't want her to fall out of her bed but i think she should be okay because it's gonna be a twin size bed 
so I think she'll be okay because it's gonna be plenty of room but um yeah I am hoping that like the underneath storage sorry Paris keeps um distracting me I'm hoping that the underneath storage maybe I could put this under there too so she can like slide down and sit under there I don't know I also wanted to put like one of those net things over her bed so we'll see yep it's seeping so yeah um and then i bought this stuff too a while ago um oh wow i forgot i bought that um just laundry dryer sheets but yeah um and then i bought this because yes i know i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate do i care no p is not potty trained yet so um yeah she's two for those who don't know yeah my daughter's two she's not potty trained yet um i'm just not i feel like i'm just not as pressed on her to like understand immediately because we try and i feel like she understands the concept but not to the point where she'll tell me she has to pee like she'll do it after she already peed in her diaper so yeah i'm not i i'm yeah i'm hoping that once we move she'll be more adamant of being like i have to go pee so but we'll see um and then i also got this i got this from target i got both those pillows from target and i got this from five below um it's not big but it's not small this looks like this it's just a little cloud i might go back and get more but yeah i want her room to be kind of like a fairy tale paradise if that makes sense so i want her to feel like she's up in the clouds with the unicorns and all of them yeah i saw these like big they're not big good job i saw these they're not big but they're not small these cloud lights that are at ikea and I was gonna buy a few of those to like hang on her wall. And then I also was going to do, which y'all will watch me do this. So I'm kind of giving y'all tea on like future videos, but I was going to like um, contact paper her room. So it would be pink, but not the whole room, obviously. But like, I was gonna do like one wall pink, one wall purple and one wall blue. But I'ma see because some, wall, some of the walls in the apartment have texture so i don't know if the contact paper is really going to stick to that but for the ones that don't have the texture i'm gonna try to do that and then i was gonna buy these little cloud stickers and like put them all over so yeah and then i also saw this like cloud rug but also i want to see how big paris's room is because oh yeah by the way um never brought this up i've never seen the apartment in person so yeah because when we first like got the lease and did all that extra stuff and was like calling around and all that basically we did like a virtual tour not like you know obviously because of covid so we couldn't go to it um we've literally had this apartment since june i believe or ma as a matter of fact it might have been may may or june since may or june we've had this apartment but we just couldn't move in until august because that's when the people's lease was up so yeah i've never seen it in person so i don't know what it's looking like i've only seen it like virtually so it's like i know what it looks like but it's different in like seeing a room than like being in it and seeing how big it really is so yeah but now that i've showed y'all that i'm basically just gonna like pull all this stuff. everything's over in that corner so i'm just gonna pull everything over here and then do it like that because i don't want to keep having to get up because y'all know i'm lazy so yeah we moved everything over here now and okay i don't know why they keep driving back and forth but cute whatever so basically the first thing i'm gonna, I'm gonna go in order with when i bought things um even though i bought majority of it today i'm gonna do it like which store i went to first so basically i went to not today i lied i didn't buy these today i went to ollie's and i just happened to see these because basically basically where i work um they didn't have a bathroom so i just waited till it was my break 
and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just go up the street anyway, cause I have to pee. And honestly, I used to go on all these all the time when I was little. So I kind of was excited to go. The sun's kind of going down. So I hope that's not like making the lighting be weird, but I do have my ring light, so I'm kind of good. Anyway, um, yeah, so I hadn't been in Ollie's in forever since I was like 10. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just look around, like whatever. So I, you know, obviously had to pee bad, so I peed. And then I was looking around and I was about to leave. And then I was like, you know what, just go look at the home stuff. Like it's not gonna kill you to look at the home stuff. Y'all, yeah. I literally found a steal, okay, a steal. A steal. I got two of these. It's big, sorry. I got a 40 pack of velvet hangers for $10. $10. They were $10. I'm not gonna take both out. And as you can see, I'm not lying. What's that say? $10, $9.99. So I had, um, I bought two because we're obviously two people. I haven't seen like what they look like. So I'm gonna just open this to see if I can see what they look like. Um, okay, yeah. So they just look like they're very heavy duty, very sturdy. Um, they don't feel cheap. Like they don't feel like they were $10. Yeah, I am. So happy about that. But yeah, I bought two. So basically, I got 80 for $20. And I was literally about to buy some off of Amazon. And I was about to pay $25 for 60 So yeah. Or then I think they had... No, I was going to pay $25 for 50 actually. So, you know, do the math. If I needed... a, Let's say I need 100 so obviously I would have to get 120 because they come in packs of 40, but 120 would be $30. $30. But now for me, I only need to, I only have to pay 10 because I already have 80. But yeah, I had to get these because I wanted velvet hangers for my closet anyway. And these are the cheapest I found because they were at Sam's Club too. And I think Sam's Club they were cheap and they ended up selling out. So this was just nice that I found these super excited to find these actually but yeah so like I said they were ten dollars and I bought two so if y'all live in Richmond or have an Ollie's near you definitely check they had a bunch of different colors but they had like purple blue brown like they didn't have and they had a light pink but not in Paris's size so that's why I didn't get them for her I'm just gonna have to order hers off of Amazon but yeah okay sorry y'all i'm back i had to change pee diaper but yeah was really happy to find yeah the next place i went was home goods oh my goodness i found something that i have been looking all over for and they was cheap um oh what's on that bag sorry i'll show you that next i was so literally when i i was about to buy every single one of them because i don't know how many i'm actually gonna need but basically it was just the juice jar they're acrylic it just looks like this um kind of like hold this up but yeah it just looks like this um this is a 56 ounce one you can tell kind of by my head how big it is and then i also got which was this one was five dollars the 36 ounce one just looks like this um so, and then it has like the little flat little opening so you know you can pour it out or whatever. Basically, I got these for like, let me set this down because I can't hold that with my legs. I got these for milk and juice because I already know we're going to run through milk and juice. So, I'll probably put the milk in this one and the juice in this one. We'll see. I don't really know. Um, I'm hoping that once I move, they'll still have more because I know I'm gonna need more. But anyways, basically, um, if y'all don't know already, well, I don't think I've ever talked about this. I've talked about it on my Instagram, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know. But basically, 
I really want to do one of those like super organized fridges, super organized pantries. I don't have a pantry, sadly, in my new apartment. So much cabinet space that I'll still be able to organize how I want to organize. So, yeah. I've seen a lot of people have these, not, you know, these ones exactly, but they'll have these in their um, fridge with the milk and juice, stuff like that, because, you know, milk comes in like that big fat thing, and you could just put it in here, and it'd be a lot, first of all, it's going to be cuter, and it's going to take up less space, so, yeah, I got both of these, I should have got more, I might go back and get more, we'll see, I was so excited when I saw those, um, Oh yeah, and the container, like I'm getting all white containers because our kitchen is, you know, all, I think I already said this earlier, but it's all white cabinets and then they're stainless steel appliances. So I just want to stick with the white and just have everything white so that the stainless steel can be like the top. So going with that theme, I bought this plant and it's like white and gray marble. And it just looks like this. Um, I'm going to put this either in the kitchen or the bathroom. I don't know yet because the kitchen and bathroom are going to be the same color scheme. It's only one bathroom. But the kitchen and bathroom are going to be one color scheme. And then the bedroom and living room are going to be the same color scheme. So that can kind of give you an idea. So the kitchen and bathroom are going to be mainly white and gray. And then the bathroom is gonna be yeah, white and gray. so mommy. yeah what baby so yeah mommy. this was ten dollars um okay that's upside down but yeah this was ten dollars from home goods they had a whole bunch of these and i just liked the jar because usually it's like only white jars only black jars or whatever the case may be and i don't know what kind of plant this is supposed to be but yeah, looks cute to me. I mean, it kind of looks real a little bit. I mm, who know? I don't know. But yeah, I thought it was cute. So I'm just gonna be putting everything back because no need for me to take everything out back because I'm gonna have to move. And then I got um I got this for P. P. Look what I got you. like it um this was this was ten dollars too it's just a unicorn it's like an iridescent pink hold on baby hold on and it's a piggy bank um i just got it for decor i didn't really get it because it's piggy bank but like i told y'all her theme is unicorns and stuff so they had a white one too but i just thought this would be a lot cuter her dresser's white so i didn't want to have like a white unicorn on a white dresser thanks for stealing my drink and um so yeah i just thought this was cute yeah this is a decor piece in her room but i know she's really not going to need that much decor in her room because she's a baby well she's not a baby but she's a kid so i mean she's not going to care about her room being all decorated cute like she's just going to care about the toys oh, shit. okay um, oh and about the other plant too i'm going to get real plants but I just like that jar, so yeah. But anyways, so um, I'm trying to find, if y'all know any, I'm going to try to get this video out today. Video out today, it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'm hoping I can finish showing y'all everything and then edit this. But anyways, if y'all know any good websites where I can buy a play kitchen, um, I think I'm just going to get one off Amazon. That's like the cheapest ones that I can find. I'm not trying to spend more than like 140 because at the end of the day, it is a play yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And I'm not sure how P's really going to play with it because she just now starting to get into playing with toys. But yeah, I really want a pink one if I can get a pink one. But yeah, if y'all have any recommendations, let me know. Yeah. Okay, so next place I went was Target. And I went to two different targets. So basically the first target I went to, I used my little reusable bags. You know me, okay, trying to save the universe, but and then actually I wasn't because the next place I, I mean the next target I went to, I used all plastic bags because I didn't have any more of these. So 
yeah um i'm gonna just start with this anyway, so the first thing i got was basically right when i had walked in i had saw this like little home sign and it was only five dollars so this is definitely the theme of my house yeah really like this don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm gonna find somewhere to put it um yeah i don't know. yeah i just really liked it and it's like wood so it just looks real modern and real cute says home so yeah that was the first thing i got then i just bought a bunch of cups and plates and tubs this stuff's not gonna be fun um actually nothing in this video is really gonna be fun because i really just bought like essentials so yeah but i got like this little spatula thing and i got this one and then i got the tongs i bought everything that was in the in that area um a can opener a spoon and measuring cups yeah you don't need that no and then two oh scissors and then we don't have like an ice maker i don't think i can't remember so i just got two of these like ice cube trays and they're silicone so it's going to be easy to get the ice out and i just thought the shape is like cute because they're not going to look like regular ice cubes so yeah i bought two of those these were three dollars a piece some of this stuff was three dollars some of this stuff was two dollars and some of this stuff was 150 i can't remember um but i did get everything in gray they did have like blue and black and other like colors but i just you know i told y'all the kitchen's gonna be gray and white so i just got all gray then i got these bowls because basically i wanted all of my like plates bowls all that to be black and i wanted my silverware to be black but um all the targets every single target near me did not have these bowls in i'm gonna just take them all out actually they didn't have these bowls so um i had to get them in gray which you know doesn't bother me because the kitchen is going to be black i mean white and gray so whatever but yeah i did want everything to be black so yeah i mean if if by the time i move some come in stock then maybe i'll return all these but yeah i had to get them in gray they just look like this are there these are like a different on the website they were like two different because as you i got these bowls too i think this was like a pasta bowl or like a dinner bowl and then this was like a cereal bowl i can't remember but yeah i just got um four of these so they just look like this um for when we have like pasta or something that you don't really need like a bowl bowl if that makes sense um i don't know i just thought these were cute so yeah and then i got five of these bowls which are like cereal bowls um they just look like that and then i got five cups they just look like this um nothing you know nothing special um obviously these are going to be for mainly like me and justin because paris is going to have like her little sippy cups and stuff so yeah but i just got five for like if we have guests because between my family justin's family and all the justin friends we we gonna need a few cups even though i had already told him like when we move i'm gonna buy plastic i mean plastic i'm gonna buy paper everything so we gonna have like you know red solo cups paper plates stuff like that just for when people come over but yeah um and if any of justin's friends girlfriends are watching this i don't think that their friends will watch my videos but if they do hey um just know when y'all come over to crib it's gonna be serve yourself because i'm not i'm no i'm not doing none of that whole stuff y'all better go in that fridge and get whatever you want go in that kitchen get whatever snacks you want or whatever the case may be because i'm not doing it okay thanks but yeah so i just got those and then i got plates obviously and i just got five plates 
outfit is so like this. I love these. Like these were 79 cents. All the bowls, all the plates, all the cups was all 79 cents a piece. But these plates just don't give me 79 cent vibes. Like maybe it's because they're black. I don't know. But they just look so classy and cute. I don't know. Like I feel like you could literally buy these and like set them up like this on like a dining table or whatever if you're trying to like you know look fancy or even these bowls too like that tell me that don't man i just feel like these the you gotta buy them they have so many colors so many colors and then i bought these for p she already has these and she already has this color so i was like i might as well just stick with the color but yeah they just look like this so that when she eats because she usually doesn't eat what me and justin eat unless it's like chicken she don't like pasta which i just don't understand because her dad and i love pasta but she loves chicken so usually i'll give her like chicken a vegetable and then a fruit so yeah these work out so her food don't touch she don't like when her food touches which is exactly how i am so that makes sense yeah baby yeah and then i was looking for this for months it's just this jar can i take the top off oh no it's sealed together good but um it's just this big jar it looks like this this was ten dollars um because y'all are gonna see i bought more jars but this one was ten dollars and it's a one gallon jar i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in this one yet i'm not sure like how i'm gonna do it but i think i kind of want to do how chloe does her oreos i think i want to do that in this one um because me and p love oreos justin eats oreos but he's not really a sweet you better not he's not really a sweets person so yeah i don't really know how that if he's gonna really you know eat the cookies or not but yeah no no more yeah got that one and that's all i got okay just put it down that's all i got from the first time i went to the store um i mean the first target i went to that's everything i got now the second target i went to i bought this little egg container it holds 14 eggs it's stackable it's bpa free um it just looks like this which i feel like i mean it is kind of unnecessary because it's the exact same shape as a regular egg carton so yeah and most egg cartons i feel like come with 12 i don't know but i just wanted it because it looks cute and um you know like with having these in there too and then once i have all my containers i just feel like the aesthetic i'm feeling it but yeah this was ten dollars and then like i told y'all i got two more um jars these are smaller i think these are half gallons yeah these are half gallons um they just it just looks like this a little bit smaller um and these I were gonna I was gonna use for like sugar and pancake mix because flour I don't know I mean I guess if I like learn how to fry food um, I'm more of like baking like I rather bake chicken and bake food than fry it well I mean it can't be but so hard to you know toss some stuff into flour I fried food before but I just don't use flour like that I guess I should have said we make more pancakes and waffles than anything so yeah i'll probably put pancake mix in here and i'm also buying a whole i bought two of these i don't know if i said that yeah baby i don't know if i said that but i did buy two of these so i'm not gonna show y'all those yeah. the next things i got were for the bathroom which was just two bathroom mats um this is stuck together so yeah i just got this one I think this was like ten dollars, and then I got a smaller one, which was like eight. And it just looks like this. 
Yeah, I could not decide what color I want to do my bathroom, whether I want to do a black and white or gray and white. And then I just said, screw it, I'm going to do gray and white because I want um, the countertops. I'm going to redo them so that they look marble. So I was like, might as well just do because the cabinets are already white. Might as well just do gray and white, you know? So then I got this like waffle shower curtain. You can see the print. But yeah, just looks like this. This was like $15, I think. But yeah, this was the only one that I really liked. They had it in white, and I was like, dang, I should have got the white after I thought about it. But I think the white will get dirty fast, so gray will work. And then I just bought, you know, like the thing that, um, the other year one, so that that one won't get wet. Yeah, I forgot to buy hooks, so yeah. And this is in this bag, so I'm just going to show it. But I got Paris's sheet set. This was $8. I couldn't believe it. But um, it's wrinkle resistant. It's real soft. I have my bed sheets are this in the gray color. And they soft to me. So it works out for me. And um, I got it in like this teal color. It comes with a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and a standard pillowcase. So yeah, I just got like this. I mean, I just got this color because her comforter is pink well actually her comforter is a duvet color cover so that i can like buy different duvets and switch it out but it's pink and it has like yellow purple and blue on it i believe so i'm hoping this blue matches but then if it don't i really don't care because nobody's really gonna see the sheets because i'm gonna make sure her bed is always made so yeah but these were cute so they had them in a whole bunch of colors too but yeah I got basically this six pack of washcloths, um, gray, obviously, and then I got two of these everyday towels. These are going to be for guests, so I know I'm going to end up buying more towels, but I just didn't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff for guests now when we probably don't have guests for a while, so, but yeah, I got those, and then I did buy white towels too um that have like um yeah these might i don't know okay basically i like to y'all i don't know which one's going to be for guests and which one's not because i wanted some towels that were just for decor so i'm gonna see how that work out too i'm thinking maybe these white ones is just gonna be for decor because i got gray hand towels so i was thinking you know like this look basically but I don't know yet. We're going to see. But I got two of those white ones. I got two gray hand towels. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I feel accomplished. I feel like I got a lot of stuff. Um, which, you know, obviously the... Oh, the reason I didn't get like bed sheets and stuff for our bed is because I actually ordered a bed in a bag and it comes with all the sheets, the covers, the pillowcases, pillows, all that. So I'm just waiting for that to come in, but it's black. Obviously our bed is black. Everything on the bed gonna be black. Everything in the room pretty much gonna be black. I got like a black accent chair too. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm all right. And, um, but yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't too boring because I really didn't get a lot of anything. Hold on, let me put all this stuff up. So, yeah, like I said, there's going to be multiple parts to this kind of like moving series. Um, I know y'all remember me saying I have a lot of anxiety about showing where I live. I'm still not sure if I'm going to show that or not. But we'll see how I feel once I, like, get in there and get a better feel. Um, there's still a lot to do, still a lot that I need to buy, um, still a lot that I need to order. So, I'm going to be doing all that. But I will let y'all know that anything that I'm doing that's DIY or organization-wise, I will definitely still be filming that. So, um, even if I have to sit... And like, even if I feel like, oh, my kitchen is too unique, 
I feel like if I show this, everybody's gonna know, you know, where I live. I'll still, I'll just move areas basically because I don't feel my living room is not distinct. So I could just go in an area in my living room and basically show y'all, or I could just put everything on the dining room table and put my ring light and everything up and do it that way so y'all can see. But we don't know. I might not feel that way, so we gonna see. But yeah um i still have a lot more i need to buy everything that i buy i'm still gonna make videos i'm still gonna do moving hauls this is literally just the first of many and this is gonna be probably the most boring one um i'm gonna be doing like amazon favorites amazon recommendations a lot of stuff i am getting off amazon so y'all will be able to get a lot of recommendations for that um i will be traveling to ikea um, for those who don't know, the closest Ikea to me is like an hour or two away. So we do have to drive up there and then drive back. So yeah, because the stuff that I want can't be delivered, but it is in stock. So I was like, you know what, we just want to drive up there. Um, basically, I'm getting my dresser. I'm getting my dresser and our nightstands for our bedroom from there. And like a bunch of Paris's play food for her kitchen and um the cloud lights that she'll drop out but like i said everything's gonna be vlogged i'm gonna be vlogging everything every step of the way you know, a lot of y'all have been following on following me on my instagram for years so y'all are like oh my god can't believe you're a mom and then now y'all like oh my god can't believe you're moving so um yeah i have no problem trying to show you as much as i can you're welcome so yeah, now I'm just rambling at this point. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know this video is kind of long. Sorry about that. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Still leave me video recommendations, even though I'm kind of going to have like a lot at this point because um, I'm moving. So I'm always going to have something to film. But yeah, still send me recommendations, even if they have nothing to do with moving. I'll still do them. So just let me know. But yeah, the countdown is on. We're about to move very soon. So yeah love you guys so so much thank you guys so so much for watching please make sure you like comment and subscribe also thank you guys so so much for 2k finally got to 2k on here feeling good feeling great so yeah i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next video